There seems to always be people who constantly talk about how their Skylanders are dying, and I'm not talking about in-game, I'm talking about the actual figures, the chips inside of them just dying off and no longer working. Now is this actually a realistic fear and something you need to worry about? Uh, it's kind of up for debate, but personally, I don't really think so. I'm going to go over all of it in today's video. I know that social media sites like TikTok have really spread the idea that Skylanders ships are dying and that a lot of people's Skylanders no longer work, so you need to make backups of them or like buy extras or something, and I think all that's nonsense. If you search up if your Skylanders ships are dying, the first thing that always pops up is a Reddit thread that basically explains how NFC chips tend to last 100 thousand scans on average but does this actually apply to skylanders well something very important to note is that skylanders don't actually have nfc chips they have rfid chips which is a very different type of technology although it does work pretty similar to nfc so the, it isn't exactly a one-to-one -one comparison with nfc cards and so when people say that the nfc chips inside of skylanders will only last between 10,000 and 100,000 scans before they stop working this isn't really true the biggest piece of evidence to support this not being true is the fact that skylanders Skylanders have to scan every couple of seconds, every time you get another coin, or another upgrade, or level up, or get a tiny bit of XP, you have to scan, and the chip is basically scanned again because the portal has to update the figure with that new data, which counts as a scan. So if a Skylander only lasts 10,000, and it's scanning every couple of seconds, I feel like a lot of Skylanders would have died at this point. That pretty much tells you that this information is just not accurate. In addition to this, a test was actually conducted at Toys for Bob, in which a Skylander was scanned as many times as possible until the chip would finally die. And basically what's important to note here is that it lasted 20 million scans, which is way, 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 way larger than the 100,000, which is considered the maximum that NFCs are expected to last. So it kind of makes no sense to assume it's 100,000. It's also worth noting that two portals broke and an entire computer broke because of how many scans it took to get the scatter to break. So basically expect uh, two portals and your console to die before a Skylander dies. Now, some people may say, oh, I already have a Skylander that doesn't work anymore, so there's no way this is true. My console never broke, my portals never broke. Well, I hate to break it to you, but some pieces of technology just come out faulty. Some of them will just not work. Some things ship just not as functional, and there's some sort of hardware defect with it. It's an anomaly, basically. It's not normal. It's not supposed to be like that. So one out of every 1,000 Skylanders, maybe, is just broken, and it doesn't work right. And the chip was not designed to the standards that Activision had set in place, and of course, that leads to the Skylanders chip dying sooner. I personally have a couple of Skylanders whose chips doesn't work. My Voodoo no longer works works and I have a granite crusher that doesn't read at all. Uh, what does scare me a little bit about this is people would say that time just these chips after a while just sort of stop working because it's been so long like 2012 2011 I mean that's like 10 to 15 years ago at this point it was basically a long time ago if I had Skylanders from every single game if I had some from you know Magic some from Superchargers some from Trap Team and so on and so forth that didn't work anymore then I wouldn't really be that concerned about it but the fact that it is Skylanders from Spires Adventure and Giants only kind of does concern me because basically what that means is it's only the oldest scatters are starting to decay and no longer work so does that mean in the future my my newer ones aren't going to work either I don't really know. I'm not really concerned about it because again, I mean, 20 million scans is crazy. And as long as you take good care of your scanners, you shouldn't really have to worry about this. Let me know what you think. I know this is kind of a shorter one, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.